This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm reviewing Amazon here today. This is, uh, I'm actually long the stock in, a, in an option. I've been long it for, for a week now. Yeah, it's a week tomorrow. And, and it's very interesting because I was up a crazy amount of money in this yesterday. And it really held all into the close, even though it fell down a little bit here. It really held the price very, very well yesterday, way above three. And today it opened at three. So I was up like over $4,000 in this yesterday. This morning I got up, I was up like three something, 3,000 something, and then it pulled all the way back. So it gapped up today with the market, but fell. Market held better today than this, but this ran up higher yesterday than the market, so it's neither here nor there. This is still really, really good. So what happened was it fell all the way down, and then it pushed all the way back up. And for like a smidgen of a second, I considered buying more of this, and I said, no, I'm going to leave it. Because I have a great price in this. My average cost in this option is 1.77, and I and I just don't want to do anything else. And if I take more, it's not going to make my price better. If I if I take more, I'm just taking more risk. So it's a good trade. I'm just going to play it on through. But what I could have done is I could have taken half the position off yesterday. I could have made two thousand dollars yesterday and been in only half the position. I have twenty contracts. I could have taken ten off, made two grand, booked it, and then whatever happens happens. And then I have ten more, which is a thousand shares. But I kept them all. In my mind, I was thinking I would get out of half if it would be like over five. And yesterday was at four, so it really wasn't that big of a difference. So, But I, I didn't get out. I didn't get out, and then that was that. And then today it ran up, and I, I was up good money in it at one point this afternoon around lunch, and I could have gotten out of some of it. But I really I really think I'm going to hold it. I really think I'm going to hold it now through, through the earnings call. And my call on this and the earnings is that it gaps up. It is that it caps up, so so I'm I'm holding it through. My strike price on this is six eighty two fifty, which is here. Let's find the exact number. Oh, there's the exact number. That's the exact number there. The high of the day of the stay in twelve seventeen is the exact number of the strike price. So I have to be over that in the money to make over the strike price. Now, somebody said in the room today, gosh, Melissa, that's a long way away. And I'm thinking 700. And in my mind, I'm like 700. I see 700. So if it goes to 700, I'll be up $17.50 in the money. And you can do the math on 2,000 shares. But I could have booked two grand in this yesterday. I could have booked 1,500 in this today, actually. But either way, I could have. I didn't. Then I would have only had half the position. It's, this is a good position. I have $3,500 at risk in this, but if it works out, this could be a 10-hour trade. And if it doesn't, I'll lose $3,500. But I could have booked $2,000 yesterday. I could have booked $1,500 here today. So, for example, like, I would, if I had gotten out of, this was one way to do it, and I didn't do this because I really, I love this call. This is a, such a strong, strong call here for me. I really believe in this call. I have 100% conviction, but... What I could have done is book two thousand dollars yesterday, cut my risk in half. I would have been at risk then seventeen fifty and booked two grand. I would have, no matter what would have happened, then I would have made two hundred fifty dollars, no matter what would have happened in the area. So that's one way to play on these through. And when I make these calls, sometimes in the room, everyone in the room could do that if you do them with me. I did not play that this way, but you could have, and I could have, and I didn't. In my mind, I was thinking five dollars to seven prior to the earnings, and then I was thinking, okay, that would make it worthwhile for me to take it out. But I, I, we didn't, we didn't get there yet. But who knows? We could tomorrow. The FOMC minutes announcement are out tomorrow, and I see the market that's going to rally on that. So all the strong stocks in the market will rally on that. Apple's earnings out tonight, and I see that that's going to gap up too. So everything should just fly. And this really had a nice recovery today in, into the close here from the drop off it had this morning. So this sell set appeared during the daily chart is not going to fall through. It just, it just, it just ran up for four days and then went poop. And that's it. But it's, it's, I'm up in this trade into the close and I have a good price in this at 1.77. But I will tell you, these things, these things move a lot. I mean, these things really move. I and mean, this is, this stock moves, this moves, moves, moves. Because for, for me to be up that much and then it pull back and then it swoosh up again. I mean, this is, I can, I'm getting a feel for these things now. These are very expensive, which is why I'm doing the options. They, these really have a lot of momentum, like crazy momentum. And I'm, I'm kind of, I'm feeling that now and sensing that with being in this as an option. Being in this as a day trade would be would be would be nutty, but I, I don't day trade this. I'm in the option, but it's 
I can see how, how these things move. I mean, they're wild. So it's, it's interesting. It's good. It's fun. It's, it's very, very fun. Anyways, if you'd like more information, email me at melissatthestockswish.com. Amazon option on minute, strike price 682.50. My call is it gaps up on the earnings Thursday night and I see 700. So that would put you in the money over that. The expiration date is 129. Good luck everyone that's in it. The room is in it. And some people have, I think the 700 ones, some people have 680. I think 682.50 is a nice number now. I just found it here in the chart. So I like it. Email me at melissathestockswish.com if you'd like more information about learning my GAP method. The class is this weekend, January 30th and 31st, and you still have time to take this. If you can get in this trade under $3 cost at the 682.50s, it's good. Like I said, it was worth $4 yesterday. You're not looking for time value here. You're looking for it over the strike price. So for example, I have it at 177. So for example, if you can get it, let's just say at three, it'd be $300 for one contract, which is 100 shares. It cost you three hundred dollars if you got it at three, and today was at two something. Then you, if it goes seventeen dollars and fifty cents in the money, then you would make one thousand seven hundred fifty dollars minus the three hundred that you risked in it. So that's a very good trade. Okay, that's an excellent trade. That's that's a very very good trade. That's like a five six R trade, and you know, so it's worth the risk because it's a huge risk to reward. And you're out of it the next day and you must get out of the trade. So you must get out of the trade by Friday the 29th. If that's when the options expires, you must get out of it then. You're not playing this for the time value. If you do it, you're playing this for over the strike price move. So you risk what you can afford to lose in it and it is a fixed amount. Okay. Email me at melissathestockswitch.com if you'd like more information on that call or the overall gap class, which is this weekend. Thanks, everybody. Have a good day.